Hey, this is Hayden, and in this Smart Feed training, we're going to discuss the basics of how to use it. So let's skip on into the back office. And to get to Smart Feed, head on over to the left menu and click on Engage. And you'll see it load up. Now, depending on how many Twitter accounts you actually have in here, it's just going to take a bit of time because we have to remember that it's pulling information from every one of these Twitter accounts about these things. So there's a ton of information that it's pulling directly from Twitter. So it can take a little bit of time. So don't let that discourage you. Now, once it loads up, uh, you'll see that we can actually filter it. So we can actually display just one Twitter account if you wanted to. And we can uh, we can change, we can uh, turn these on and off at will as well. So uh, for this example, I'm just gonna uh, go for new followers for stage leads. So the way that I do it is remove, I'd go none, and then I go uh, new followers and I go none and I'll just go stage leads and then I'll let it do its thing and there we are just the new follower notifications for stage leads now what we can do here is I want to draw your attention here uh, to this to the bar here on the right now if you see a little person with a plus that means you haven't followed this person Kaylee Leung you haven't followed her back so you can do this right off this interface so you know if I like what she you know if she looks pretty let's grab her okay and then I then now she's followed and it tells me so now if I want to reply to her all I do is I if you hover over this it says reply to this user so I can go like, like that and I can go hey I can go something like hey nice to meet you if I spell it properly to meet you how are things and what I try and do is I always try and end in a question because I want to encourage the person to engage with me. So if you just leave it with, hey, nice to meet you, basically the conversation dies there. It's the same rules apply as if you're at a party or you're speaking to somebody. The, the last person, if, if a person ends on a statement and they don't ask a question, typically the conversation dies. And we want to, you know, I want to uh, engage with, with Kaylee, see what her problems are, see what things that I can solve with my business, or maybe, you know, maybe her friend needs what I've got. Who knows, right? And then once you've typed in your message, you've got two options. You can send it, and then it will remain in the feed. Or if you click send and complete, it disappears totally. Now, for ease of organization, I always personally click send and complete. And I'll do it and show you what happens. Now it's gone. Now, if you want to just purely ignore this thing here, what you can do is if you click on the question mark, Mike Lewis, he just disappears without any action. So I just go there and Mike's gone. Same with this one here, gone. So that's the basics of, of uh, new followers. Now let's do, let's check off new followers and let's do retweets. None for that one. Let's do, let's check that off and do direct messages. Now, direct messages are messages that a person has sent to your your personal Twitter inbox. So it's like, uh, you know, if you're equated to Facebook, it would be, uh, you know, messages from, from your followers. Except with Twitter, you can have messages come from anybody in Twitter now. So, for example, I can go through here and uh, anything for me personally, anything that says uh, true to twit validation, that's an instantly, I instantly delete those. That's one of the most annoying things ever to come out on Twitter. Um, it's just a third-party service, and it's it's quite intrusive, so I tend to ditch that. But uh, thanks for following me. Typically, you're going to get a lot of these. Thanks for, for following me. Check out my website, blah, blah, blah. You, you can just choose to ignore that. Uh, click on that, and, and she's gone. Uh, this guy here has asked me a question. So, you know, that's that, that could lead to something for me. So I'll go, um, I can say, hey, I am here for business and to meet new new people oops people Oop. how about you and then send and complete so that's how i use that and uh, let's try one more mentions for stage leads now mentions are when a person has tweeted that you know they've done a regular tweet but they've specifically included your username in the tweet so that uh, it will come into your notifications. So they're actually, they want to draw your attention. So they're either asking a question or they want your involvement in something. So this person here, uh, that's that's the username. So stage leads, that's the username. So they know that it's gonna to go to my notifications and then they want me to interact with their stuff. Now, once again, I can choose to retweet the message. 
if I don't, if, you know, if I'm kind of busy, but I want to, I want to give them some sort of love, I can retweet it, I can like it, or I can do a combination of all three. So, or I can reply. So, I could reply, or I can just ignore it. So, there's four options there. There's always going to be four options for mentions. So, in this case, I'm going to like it, I'm going to retweet it, and when you retweet, it goes and turns in baby blue, so you know it's done. And then I'm going to get rid of that message from the pile. So let's have a look. Great to connect. So I'll say, I'm going to reply this one. Yeah, so, so I'll say, nice to meet you. Well, my spelling's really bad today. Must be nervous. Uh, how are you going? Okay. Once again, ask a question. So I want this person to get back to me and start building a relationship. Or another thing I could do is, hey, I could say this. Nice to meet you. How are you going? Hey, meet me on Facebook. Now, if I go and head on to, over to fate, my personal Facebook account, I've got close, I've got 4,003 friends last count. Of those 4,003 three friends, 3,500 rough rough have come from Twitter because what I did was this. Nice to meet you. How are you going? Hey, meet me on Facebook. Let's be friends on Facebook. And I'll drop my Facebook link into the message. And then that, and then pretty much six times out of 10, 60% of the time, the person will actually show up as one of my friends the next day. So that's a great way to build up your Facebook uh, friends as well without bugging anybody, you know? So, and then you go send and complete. Done. So that's those four options there. That's how to filter it per Twitter account. Uh, or you can ideally, or what you could do is you could have it on, on all and then have all the information show up. Okay, so, but if you've got a favorite one that you really pay attention to, what I would do is I just click none and then click the one you want to go for. Okay, that's the way that I handle it. And then I sequentially go through the most important things. So uh, it's, it's totally flexible. You can do it any way you like, but do it because this, the fortune is really in the follow up with uh, social media. The, uh, what we're doing is we're building friends, we're building relationships, and in the end, people buy from those they know, like, and trust. And this is a great way to start that trust cycle. So enjoy that. If you have any questions, uh, we've got support tickets here. As you can see, just click on there. Or once again, go back to the training videos. There's going to be a ton more of them. And, uh, and also, we monitor the support tickets, and anything that comes through consistently and persistently, you can bet I'll be making more videos. So enjoy. Thanks.